Section 5.6, Inequalities in Two Triangles and Indirect Proof. Theorem 5.13 is the hinge theorem. And before we fill in the blanks, let's look at these two triangles. Okay, we have triangle ABC and triangle A1, B1, C1. Right now, these triangles are congruent. We have a side 8, side 8, side 6, side 6, side 5, side 5, and an angle that's 48.52 degrees, 48.52 degrees. Well, let's keep side AB at 8 and side A1, B1 at 8, making those two sides congruent. We're then going to keep CB at 5 and C1, B1 at 5, making those two sides congruent. What we see is that if we have two congruent sides in two different triangles, if this angle in the second triangle is greater, then the side opposite has to be longer than the side in the first triangle. So if you have two triangles with two congruent sides, we want to look at the included angle. The included angle is greater than that is opposite the greater of the two sides. If the included angle is smaller, that is opposite the smaller of the two sides. So we could make this a smaller angle, smaller side, and the 6 and the 48, or bigger angle, longer side, than the 6 and the 48. We can now fill in these blanks. We know that if two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first triangle is greater than the included angle of the second triangle, Let's just make sure we make sense of that. So we have two triangles. We have two sides congruent in the triangles. And one triangle where the included angle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. Then the third side of that first triangle is greater than the third side in the second triangle. Essentially just what we saw. Two congruent sides. If the included angle is greater than this included angle, then the opposite side is longer than this opposite side. We can look at this example. Example 1, complete with less than, greater than, or equal to. Use your picture below, and we're looking at sides AD and DC. Do this example on your own first. Pause the video and resume when you're ready to see the solution. The hardest part about these questions is identifying the two congruent sides. Here the yellow sides are congruent and the blue side is congruent to itself, making the included angles the 36 and the 32. Since 36 is larger, this means that AD must be greater than DC we're going to use the greater than symbol. Highlighters really do help for this section. If you have some, I would suggest that you use them. Otherwise, make some way to mark your congruent sides and so that you can see the third side that we're talking about. If you're ready, the next video is going to talk about the converse of the hinge theorem.